Stakeholders in the agricultural food chain have warned Nigerians to brace up for an impending hike in the prices of food commodities as we move into the year 2021 due to the effect of COVID-19 and the shortfall of water on agricultural produce this year. This next report tells us more. In Nigeria, where ongoing conflict is already resulting in high food assistance needs, the COVID-19 pandemic and measures to prevent its spread have driven needs even higher. Coupled with the unpredictable atmospheric weather condition experienced by farmers this year, an agri-business driver, Aziz Oluwole, has called on the government at all levels to drive agricultural practice aggressively in order to reduce the impact of starvation and food scarcity in the coming year. Aziz made this known during the roundtable dinner of Farm Connect Limited held in Ibadan, Oyo State, to celebrate the achievement of the company in boosting the agricultural sector across the southwestern state. Oluwole added that he foresees hunger befalling the nation due to the fact that many farmers were unable to farm during the COVID-19 pandemic, but with the intervention of the government, it is possible to overcome the challenges. 2021, I might foresaw hunger. You know, the food that we we'll eat next year is supposed to be getting harvested this year. And people didn't farm. There was a problem with weather, rain didn't fall. It, 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 it may be a rough ride except we, the government intervene and find an alternative way of getting, but where would they get the food from? It's a global thing. <laughs> Working. So there is definitely a reduction in food production globally. And every country will want to feed its own people first. So what we'll do is we will enhance agriculture. The Oyo State Government, along with the State House of Assembly, has promised to ensure that agricultural business in the state is an example for other states to follow as they are keen to make the state the food basket of the country. The Commissioner for Agriculture, Ekiti State, however, insists that the youth must be ready to embrace agribusiness as Ekiti State is doing everything within its reach to make agribusiness attractive to the youth in order to forestall hunger and scarcity of food commodities. Approve a loan of $2 billion for agricultural business, for agricultural extension in your State. We have been doing that, you know, just of recent. We approve another loan of $6 billion for estate farming in uh, Akufo, Ibadan here, and Nerua. And yet, as I mentioned, just yesterday, we approved another two billion naira just to improve and expand agricultural scope in all your states, to encourage our youth to be more engaged in something productive and to bring a hand to all this situation in our state. Don't see what happened only the answers. 90% of what happened after that is because as a result of a food, people are hungry. That's why you see people looting any, anything that have to do with the warehouse, whether it's even food that is there or not. So we must take care of our youth. We must make agriculture uh, uh, enriching, uh, attractive, attractive in the sense that they will be able to embrace it because I believe agriculture is the, it should still be the mainstay of this uh, economy. Like this, that um, it is important to protect, as they are protecting the headmen, they should also protect the farmers because there is no help. Scarcity is the basis for war. When there is no food, people become hostile. And that's the, that, that, that's a very terrible thing.